just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday and I am making my coffee. I'm ready, ready for work. If you wonder why I wear regular shirts, it's because um, I've started wearing my lab coat and it really doesn't matter what I wear underneath because I don't take my lab coat off because it's freezing in the building. So yeah, that's the reason why you guys will see me with any color, any random shirt. And then I usually wear my lab coat over it, just in case you're wondering. So yeah. Just making my coffee. I had every intention of vlogging last night when I came home. I vlogged in the morning and when I came home Savannah was like do you want to finish watching a movie because we started a movie a smoothie we started a movie on Saturday that we didn't finish and then we didn't get to watch it on Sunday because she had homework she had a lot of homework so she was like mom you want to finish watching that movie a movie on Netflix called 13 sins it was an older movie um, where the guy got a phone call and then he said they said if you do this challenge you'll get a thousand dollars and they were watching him and everything so he had to do 13 things and to become a millionaire or whatever so he did all these things and some of them were not good and stuff like that so that's what we finished watching and then I got extremely sleepy and I went to bed I think it's because of the time change and now it's dark by 4.30, <laughs> almost. And I don't know, yesterday at seven, it felt so late. So I'm pretty sure I was in bed by at least 7.30. It's 6.56, I usually don't leave the house until 7.10. So I have a little time to sit here and scroll on social media or whatever. But I came back in my room and I already got a text message from one of my students so my first time that I taught, I had 14 students. I was really like afraid or whatever, but I had 14. And then the second month, which was last month, how many did I, did I have? I went from, I went from 13, nine or eight, wasn't very many towards the end. And then this module, I, at first I thought I had four students and then when the day started, when the new mod started, it was eight. I'm like, okay, I can deal with eight. And then now it's down to five. So when any one of the students gone, it's like a huge thing, you know? So yesterday in class, I had three kids. And I could say kids, but they can be my children, put it that way, their age. Um, I know at one point I'll teach someone who's my age or older perhaps, but right now, um, they're not so so they could be my kids so that's why I say kids I guess I should text a student back for texting me let me know so because of what they told me I just said okay thanks for letting me know hope everything works out all right so see I have my lab coat on so you guys when I'm done like and I know it's a slow process slow because I'm just being slow with it but when I am done doing my dining room and then the few little things that I need to do for my house, I'm going to be, as far as I know, done with what I want to do inside, like the upgrades. And I say upgrades, but putting my touches on the house, even though we've been here since 2011. Um, did I tell you guys when we first moved in? So they had... You, oh, you guys know, the ones who've been watching me a while, I wasn't vlogging when we first moved in. But when I first started vlogging, my room had doo-doo brown walls. Yes, I said it. It was poop brown walls. And I was going through a phase at that time to where I loved, like, all the dark colors, like browns and greens and earth tones and stuff like that. So when I walked in, when I first seen this house, 
I walked in my bedroom, which was to be my bedroom, and I was like, oh, this is so beautiful and gorgeous, and I loved it. And she had the dining room area, all that. She had it painted like, it, I wouldn't say mint green, but it was a green, and I loved it. And the living room is brown, and the living room is still brown, the brown that she picked. And y'all, I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about changing my living room paint yeah i don't know my kids are like mom you're doing too much no i'm not doing too much i want to make the home mine right i mean i fell in love with what she had and how she had it but now it's time for me to put my touch on it right so anyway what was i saying when i am done with the house as far as getting everything the way i want it to be the way i like it i'm going to start in my front and backyard and what i mean is i like a clean look and i don't want to show you guys the front of my house um I just don't but anyway I want to clean up some of these bushes I don't like I like a clean manicured looking house which mine is not like that right now I don't like all the overgrown hedges which when I have people come cut my yard of course they cut it down but I don't want the bushes there at all so I want to like take it completely down I may I may just have them put rock or mulch or something over my grass what time is it I'm good over my grass so it won't grow anymore that way I won't have to worry about water in it and then I want to redo the backyard I want to be able to sit out in my backyard for patio for patio I want to be able to sit out in my backyard for barbecues and have people come over and go to the backyard not always hang out in the house that's my next goal but you guys know that probably won't happen right away that just that's just me I take it one step at a time so anyway, let me get to work. Didn't forget my coffee this morning. I just find it so weird. How did I forget my coffee that one day? How, how? All right, let's go to work. Hello everyone. I am home from work now and I'm about to jump in the shower. Let's see how far I can get tonight as far as vlogging because you guys know lately, well I've told you guys once I get home, serious blogging fail so yeah um i'm home i did stop by a shop that a shop um a furniture store i'll tell you guys about that in a minute but let me get in the shower and get all comfortable and everything it's early you guys it's only three o'clock or 3 15 and i'm about to shower and be relaxed for the night okay so you guys it is only 5 30 and i feel like it's so late it's dark outside i feel accomplished because I straightened up my room, dishes are done. I need to go sweep and mop, but I usually wait to mop until I know everyone is in for the night because I told you guys I hate people walking on my wet floor. I don't care if it's just to grab something really quick. I just hate that. So I'm done. I'm actually uploading a vlog. You guys, I have done so good with vlogs this week in. Um, Take it for what it is, because you guys know it may not last long, but while I'm feeling in the mood to vlog and upload, I'm going to do it. So I have finished editing a video, um, and I'm about to upload that. So yeah, oh, I was gonna tell you guys, so on my way to work, I see a furniture store that I didn't even know was there. So after work, I stopped by, and it was like a mom and pop shop and they had really cute furniture in the back they had their dining room sets they didn't have anything that i wanted they had really nice ones but nothing that i was looking for for my dining room i mean i'm sure i could have chose something and made do but why do that if i'm going to get something i need to get something that i like something that i want to keep something that i don't want to be sitting in my dining room in two months or in six months of having it saying I regret that I got this so I'm just going to wait until I find something that I really like and that speaks to me that says Michelle buy me you gotta have me other than the really expensive one from Z gallery um, so yeah I mean like I said I could have made do but uh, I didn't want to and the guy kept telling me oh we have free delivery right now and you know look in our catalog and I did look in his catalog but I didn't see anything that fit the style of what I'm going for. So, I don't know, you guys. I mean, it's not like I need a dining room table. I mean, I do need one, but I don't have to have one today because we have another table we could eat at. And 
half the time we all eat at different times anyway because our schedules are different so um, yeah so I've been looking on Facebook market do you guys are you guys on Facebook first of all and hit the Facebook market so on Facebook market and I'll just type in like dining room furniture so and I'll pick my area of whatever and I can't help looking on here sometimes I think you know I shouldn't because first of all if you look on stuff like this and you want it you have to have a truck or something to go pick things up because they're not going to deliver it to you so I'm like why am I looking on here because I mean I do have a hatch not a hatchback but I do have room in my car but I don't have enough room to put a dinette set or whatever unless they allow me to make two or three trips which I don't know but I keep looking because sometimes they have really nice things on here but nothing has spoke to me like oh my goodness you have to call them you have to make arrangements you have to get this and I'm afraid that if I keep looking eventually something's going to pop up in my price range where I can get it and I shouldn't but I keep looking so yeah Facebook market is amazing you guys oh that's what I wanted to tell you guys so today I broke up a possible fight yes I did it was getting really heated and in order for me to tell you the story I have to tell you the race of everybody that was involved because it involved the n-word now I know a lot of you guys may or may not have an opinion on using the n-word whether it's okay or not I'm just gonna tell you what happened today so anyway they're in they're not my students they're in the class that I help out with before I go to teach my class so anyway there's this tiny cute little Indian girl and when I mean Indian I mean not Native American Indian but I mean like the other Indian she is darker than me but she's beautiful she's gorgeous right so I've heard her use the n-word and she doesn't use it derogatory as far as calling someone the n-word with the hard r if you guys know what I mean um, she says it like people say dude or people say chick or girl or something like that and when I first heard her say it of course I whipped my head around and I'm like what in the world because you know when you hear that word you're thinking what's going on but she was saying it and she was laughing and joking and she was talking to another a, a black girl so the black girl was okay with that and so I know she didn't mean it derogatory this generation now the younger generation I've heard Mexicans, Asians use the word, and a lot of times they think it's okay. Some of them, the ones who use it, don't mean anything by it. To them, it's like, oh, it's just a hip new word or whatever. But my generation and people that are older, that word is not something you just use lightly. So anyway, the other girl, she was a black girl. She's maybe about 5'9", and you know she has weight on her whatever and I'm thinking I'm like I need to stop this right now because and not because she was black but because of her size and this tiny little Indian girl I'm like this chick the other girl it's going to mop the floor with her if they get up and start fighting and so it got really heated whatever and I did intervene and I diffused the situation thank goodness but um, I talked to each one of them separately hi I don't know. Did I say woohoo? Like, you like, woohoo. Like, I heard that. I don't know. Maybe I did. I don't know. So, anyway, I talked to each one of them separately, and I told the younger girl, I told her, I said, um, your generation, I know you did not mean anything about it, but I gave her a little history lesson behind it, whatever, and I said, some people may be okay with you using it, some people may not. And her, the other girl you were speaking to, she was not okay. You have to watch what you say. That may be okay in your circle of friends. And she was telling me, I have a lot of black friends and I have Mexican friends, whatever, and so I'm not using it. I said, I totally get that. I said, but you have to understand history of that word and the reason why she took it offensively yeah you didn't call her the n-word with the hard r but because you said it and you were a different color she took offense to it 
So I broke up that fight and well, would be fight because they got up in each other's face and this little Indian girl was not backing down. And I actually was like, good for you. But at the same time, I'm like, you know what? If anybody starts swinging, this little tiny girl is going down. So um, yeah, you guys, I was gonna ask you, what do you think about that? The younger kids using the N word, but I don't wanna hold debate. I just want to let you guys know. I just wanted to let you guys know that I broke up a possible fight. I just felt that I handled the situation pretty well and not to say that I'm going to jump in every would-be altercation. I just, I don't know, I just felt the need to get involved and I was able to defuse it. And so they went the rest of the class and they didn't say anything to each other. So hopefully that squashes it. They can do their schoolwork and graduate. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. All right, so video is up. It just went live. And I'm actually on Facebook Market right now. I should not be on here looking for dinette sets. Because I'm telling you, I'm gonna find one that's in my price range that I love. And I'm not going to be able to get it because it's going to, I was gonna say it's too far away because I won't be able to bring it home. So there was a set that I seen that it was $100 for a table, six chairs, and a buffet table. But I didn't even respond to them because the color is okay, but I really, it's not something I would actually get. I would only get it because if, if it really is $100, but then it's like, if it's $100, why should I get it just because it's in my price range? I should just save my money and get something that I really want, right? Right. And of course, now that I'm looking for it, I won't be able to find it. Thought I heard Boston, but he's in Savannah's room. I don't know. Anyway, so if I come across it again, I'll show you guys, but um, it's okay. I mean, it's not nothing I would buy. Like if I seen it, I wouldn't be like, ooh, I gotta have that, let me get it. So. That's all I'm doing now, you guys. And it's eight o'clock. It feels so late. It feels like I should be in bed right now. Yeah, let's see. I don't know, if I find it, I will show you guys. Oh, hold on, hold on. I have scrolled so far on this Facebook market to try to find that table that I was telling you guys about. I'm convinced that they took it off. Maybe it really wasn't $100. I don't know, maybe it's sold. I don't know, but I just wanted to show you guys. Some of these things really look like it stepped out of 1970. And if that's what somebody likes, that's fine, but don't try to sell a dinette set for $1,600 with broken chairs. Yeah, I'm actually going to wind down. I think I'm done looking for that table. I'm convinced they took it off. So, yeah, you guys. Um, this is probably it for the night. I'm just relaxing, not doing a whole lot. And I actually have a movie playing in the background, but it's watching me, so. All right. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I did not have a good night of sleep last night. I feel like I woke up every 30 minutes and was up for 30 minutes. That's how tired I am right now. I'm making my coffee because I definitely need it. And you guys know how when you say yes, you'll do something and then when it comes to it, you regret it. <laughs> so all I wanna do is come home after work and sleep, right? So last week, let me go back a little further. They are in need of instructors at my job. I think two day instructors and one at night. So they know I can't work on Thursday nights because of Bible study and because they fired that other lady instructor that I told you guys about. Um, 
she told me so this is going to sound like a complaint about my job but i'm not complaining about my job i'm complaining about the person who told me this are you going to get out if i open up the crate or i'm going to have to trick you huh so you're whining but let's see are you going to get out today oh somebody has to go to the bathroom all right let's go wow y'all he really has to go. It's one of the rare occasions where he has to go potty. And so he will willingly go out when you open the door. Usually when he does, when he has to go really bad, the minute I open up the crate, he bolts out. Anyway, what was I saying? So we're in desperate need, especially after they fired an instructor. We were in need when she was there, but she had to go. So anyway, um, Two of the daytime instructors have been covering for the night classes. I think I told you guys there's three that got hired after me. There's two that got hired after me, not three. So one of the two, she actually took one of the night classes. So they still need a night instructor and two day instructors. Anyway, we needed instructors, even though they fired one. So my boss, which is the director over the dental program at the school, she she's nice. I had to get to know her, know her personality and how she is because she has a very strong personality and her humor, her sense of humor is she'll say something and it's one of those you don't know if she's making a joke or not, but I've learned that she is. So um, that's her personality, but she told me, she didn't ask me, she told me last week, she said, I need you to teach the night class as well, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, because I know you have Bible study on Thursdays. And I'm thinking to myself, when she said it, I'm like, okay, that's extra money, probably, you know, time and a half, whatever, because it will be overtime. And she told me it was only about two or three weeks until she hires another instructor, which I'm sure it's going to be longer than that. And so I'm thinking, okay, yeah, extra money. But then again, I started thinking, I'm like, wait a minute. She didn't ask me. She told me. I texted her back and I told her, I said, you know, I'll talk to you about it tomorrow. So let me tell you about her. So remember at my job a long time ago where I had an issue with people texting and calling me when I'm not at the job to talk about the job? That just bugs me so much. I mean, if it's an emergency, every now and then I understand. But now here, this director, this program director, there's always something always something and she will send a text and at first in the beginning I would text back whatever but now I'm like she has no boundaries she's a nice person if she ever sees this and I love my job and I want my job but to me wait so a lot of things could wait until we get there in the morning that's the type of person she is but she's nice so I just told her I said you know I'll talk to you about it you know that next day so when I went that next day I guess she figured I was gonna say no or whatever I had other obligations or I don't want to do it every single night because I don't want to be at work all day take a three-hour break and then go back at night for a long time I just I'm not gonna do that right so she told me she said well she said she would cover Monday nights another instructor would cover Tuesdays and Thursdays and if I can take every Wednesday until they hire somebody okay I can do that and it's funny because the night class, they have one student. One student. They started out with four, and now they have one. Which, I'll get to that in a minute with my class, because we're dwindling down here as well in my class. So, yeah, they have one student. I'm like, I'm going to go for one student? I guess I would. But I don't have to stay the whole time, because the night class is from 5 to 11. And I'm like, that's a long time and then getting up early again the next day. So what they told me I can do is I can go in, give lecture as normal. And then when it's time for him to go to the lab, the other instructor who's already in lab, I can leave him there and she will do his checkoffs and whatever. So I'm like, okay, I can do that. So I said all that to say when I was telling you guys how tired I am and I didn't have a good night's sleep that I regret saying yes because I just want to come home and sleep today because I'm exhausted. I am exhausted. Definitely need my coffee. And yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. My setup always messes up when I don't. I have to put something behind it, you guys. So hold on. Because I have a feeling it's going to slip. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so the good thing about the class that I'm subbing for tonight is it's the same... 
um, beginning dentistry class that I'm teaching so I really don't have to prepare so everything that I'm teaching this morning is the same thing at night so I don't have to prepare anything extra for it which is good it's cold y'all I am seriously ready for the winter we didn't get a fall we get fall like mornings but it's November and when I leave for work when I leave for work when I leave from work it's hot it's like it's still summertime when is this weather gonna change I mean I know God is in control and everything but can we get a little bit of a winter some rain and then the minute the rain comes I'm gonna complain that there's too much rain all right let's get to work you guys let's go so I just wanted to show you guys how cold it is in the morning so my car says 55 degrees but the app on my phone says 48 so I don't know so hopefully I remember stay hopefully I remember when I leave work to show you guys what the temperature is because it's going to be warm now watch this is the one time that it's going to be like 60 degrees or something like that tomorrow's sky is supposed to be 79 Friday is 80 Saturday is 80 yeah where is winter we didn't get a fall we're probably going to jump straight from what it is now to winter to storming and whatever so I remembered 79 degrees oops my phone says 77 so this weather is so weird I'm back at work round two this is the last one this last one okay so we're at home now and we're watching this show right here and it's 11 o'clock and I really need to go to bed. But no, this one has me up watching this. It's actually really good. It's only 19 minutes or 20 minutes. So press play. 